She didn't expect to die that night. She had no enemies that she knew of. Her life was pretty unremarkable. And then it hit her. What if she had a secret life? Brazen is based on a Nora Roberts book called Brazen Virtue. Basically, it's the story of Alyssa's character, Grace, who is a writer. She goes home to spend time with her sister, who's in a bit of a situation. While she's there, she meets a next door neighbor who is a cop, also can help her with her writing because she writes crime stuff. And in the process of getting, getting to know this next door neighbor, uh, they end up going back over to her house, or she goes back to her house and finds that her sister's been murdered, which kind of sets the whole thing off. Cass? Kathleen! Oh my God! No, no. <laughs> Did you know about your sister's clients? What are you talking about? Her character, Desiree, was becoming very popular. And who knows the identity of your performer? Just me, my mother, and my brother. It's a family business. The character had a lot more humor than most of the characters that I have. And for me, that was, that was a big deal. That was a big deal. And then to work with Alyssa Milano, it was great. And Netflix. I've been watching Netflix for a year and a half nonstop. So it was great to be able to be on the other side. I got to spend my birthday basically playing cops and robbers with uh, uh, my partner, Sam. Uh, uh, Sam Page is the actor that plays my partner. Also the one who gave me this jacket after the shoot, which is fantastic. Uh, yeah, I, was, I kept saying how much I love this jacket. And he was like, oh, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Then he actually gave me one as a set gift. So that was really sweet. You know, I grew up here and then spent a long time away from here. It's nice to be home. I've been back for several years, but then because of work, I've been in Canada, then back to Connecticut, then California, then back to Connecticut, then New York, and back to Connecticut. So it's nice to come home. And I really enjoyed this. This was from the shooting it, but also being able to see a character that's enjoying his own experience versus a character that's very tightly wound was really nice. I usually get along well with the camera department because I'm usually messing around and it's like, what kind of lens do you have on there? What is, it? What is that? Is that, can I, can I see what you're shooting? What's the, you know, so we just mess around and we have fun. Um, but yeah, I think that just like anything else, the more you know, uh, the better off you are, right? So knowing about cameras and lighting helps me as an actor because I understand what they're trying to do. And instead of being in the way, I can hopefully be a part of creating something good. <laughs> so what's next? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Um, yeah, being an actor, it's, it's interesting. In certainly different levels, you have different experiences. When I was working on Billions, there was a kind of expectation of what comes next because it's television. Uh, and right now, I don't know, between the pandemic and something new, like this is the way it kind of works. You do, so, you do a project and then you wait to see if people go, oh yeah, I like that guy, or yeah, we could see him in this part or that part. And I've been fortunate, I've had a lot of really great auditions so far, so hopefully something good will come. We got ourselves a serial killer. Everybody has secrets, right?